Lucha, Lucha. Oh, wait a second. I'm talking about the WWE, not Southern Pro Lucha Libre. As you can tell by this Nifton shirt. Of course, I'll, I'll give them a little. That's weird. There we go, a little plug there to Southern Pro Lucha Libre. Eventually, one day, it shall show up to Daytona Beach and Hobo Tom. The first one there. Again, I have great looking wrestling merch. Again, I always like to wear my wrestling shirt when I'm doing a wrestling podcast. Even if it's about WWE. Because, unfortunately, I think he's out on a motorcycle ride. Wow. I wish I could go on a motorcycle ride. Because here in Daytona Beach, it's bike week. Look at where I am. I'm stuck. I got to work today. Son of a bitch. Got to work. Uh, but I did manage to get off early. I'm in my nice Southern Pro Lucha Libre shirt, which means I'm in a wrestling shirt, which means I'm here to talk about some wrestling. And today's going to be some Fast Lane predictions. Because Fast Lane's coming up tomorrow. I will be watching the entire thing. That includes the pre-show and the regular show because I don't have to work late. I open up tomorrow. Oh, wait a second. They tricked me. I have to open up tomorrow, but it's daylight savings time. I have to set my clocks ahead an hour. Darn, I lose an hour of sleep. Or not. But there's nothing I can do about that. The only thing I can do is tell you my predictions. Again, Dr. Tom was supposed to be here. I had to delay some things because I was making some other, I had some other production issues. And he said, you fat sloven, wait a second. He called me a fat sloven hobo. My feelings are hurt. That's okay. Again, he left kind of a little note on what should be happening. And he says, you fat slovenly hobo. I am going to procure a motorized bicycle. I guess he means motorcycle. And find some women of outstanding reputation. Women of outstanding reputation? In Daytona Beach? <laughs> Not happening. And enjoy this lovely vernal day. These were too big to think of them. And take in the aromatic ocean air. Get back to work, you fat, slovenly hobo. Signed, Dr. Tom. So that means I have to make my predictions by myself. Again. I did pretty good last time, so let's get on with some predictions. So, I know the opening match on the pre-shows, we actually advertise this as the pre-show. Oh, geez, WWE. What are you doing? Andrade C. and Almas versus Rey Mysterio Jr. I have Andrade going over. I think this sets up something big for WrestleMania. Um, it would be neat to see a hair versus mask match. I haven't seen one of those in WWE in a long time. See them all in CML. CM or MLS, whatever, AAA, MLW or MLA? I forget what the other promotion is in Mexico. Every so often you see them on Lucha Underground. And Lucha Underground has yet to start their new tapings. Still have to wait on that. I think they're scheduled to come back, I think, in April. I think right now they're just kind of recapping what has happened in the past. And every so often on Impact. I haven't had a chance to see Impact in a long time. I don't think they've had a pay-per-view in a long time, actually. 
that's that match. So that. That is going to be my match of the night. And then I have no idea what the order is going to be. So let's just say randomly of least importance. Let's see here. The Usos take on Shane McMahon and The Miz. The Usos go over. This is going to lead to some breakup between Shane McMahon and The Miz. Hopefully probably giving Shane McMahon another WrestleMania moment. Then we have... Revival versus Gable and Rude versus Bla Al Alistair Black and Ricochet. Gable and Rude are going to get those tag team belts back. Again, they don't necessarily have to pin Alistair Black and Ricochet. They can win by some sneaky means. Beat the Revival. And set something up maybe for WrestleMania. Again, this is fast lane. This is all these up to WrestleMania. We're in the fast lane to WrestleMania. Then, let's see here. What match would be next? Asuka versus Mandy Rose. Even though Asuka stood tall, I'm going against the math. Asuka's going to retain that belt. It'll be something between Asuka and probably Lacey Evans come WrestleMania. So Asuka retains her belt. And then, oh wow, I don't think I've ever done this before. No. So I'm going to say Sasha Banks and Bailey versus Tamina and Nia Jax for the Women's Tag Team Champion. I'm somewhat tempted to give this two qualifiers. I don't like doing that. This next one could be one. So this is my stone cold lock of the night. Sasha Banks and Bailey retain. Take it to the bank. That's my stone cold lock. Then who else? So I'll probably be. Kevin Owens versus Daniel Bryan. I'm so torn on this. Only because I don't have no clue what they're going to do with Kofi. Kofi Mania's... Kofi Mania's run wild on you. So, I think Kevin Owens is going to win. Why waste Kevin Owens in a, in a clean loss? So, Kevin Owens beats Daniel Bryan. Jeez. That's not the snooze match. So it's going to be Kevin Owens defeating Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship. Maybe he'll set the belts on fire on, on, on SmackDown. That's good TV. Then Becky Lynch versus Charlotte. I think Becky Lynch is going to win or at least get her hand raised because that way that sets up a three-way between Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch for WrestleMania. So Becky Lynch should win. And I hate to say it, only because I'm not that excited. This just seems like a decent Raw match. You have The Shield versus Baron Corbin, Bobby Lashley, and Drew McIntyre. I think the WWE is going to send the crowd home in a fuzzy feel-good moment, mainly because of Roman Reigns. So I'm going to pick the Shield. But for those of us watching at home, this is going to be the time to take a nap. And again, I can reward myself a variety of ways on when you see me on Monday. If I get all of them correct, I'm never calling Dr. Tom again. 
I'm going to keep on doing my predictions, but I shall. I would be in, inside Vince McMahon's head. If only he knows what's going on. Again, I get one wrong. Pretty good. I'm, I'm in Triple H's head. Anything above 50 50 booking means you know, it's Stephanie McMahon's thinking. I could be the 50 50 booker. Again, if I win half, lose half. If I get only one or two right. But again, they're kind of the picks I wanted. I got three right. I'm I'm one or one hundred fifty percent. Oh, I'm a mark. However, if I only get one right, maybe two right. I'm just this in that. We're gonna like to thank everyone for watching again. Eventually, you shall be seeing some Southern Pro Lucha Libre. Um, some other programming notes. Again, I'll try and set this up. I'll try to set this up. I have to figure out how YouTube changed everything. I have to figure out how to do that. So on at six o'clock. Yeah, six o'clock tomorrow. I'll be on talking about the pre-show or five o'clock. I hope it's not. I don't think it's going to be two hour. I don't think it's going to be a two hour preview. Jeez, they only have one match. Hour and a half of talking, not dealing with it. So Monday we'll have Monday Night Raw, Tuesday, Tuesday SmackDown, and then wow, I get a little reprieve. Because the next week it's so it's the week of the 18th. It's going to be Raw SmackDown. And then Thursday you're going to see this guy Hobo Tom, and in Sanford I hope, and I'll be covering NXT when they come to Sanford. And the same is true the following week on the 28th. You'll see me, Hobo Tom, hopefully at the Daytona Beach event.